Today on People of God, we are talking with my good friend, British Robinson, who is the president and CEO of the Barbara Bush Foundation. She also worked for the Jesuit Conference of Canada and the United States for several years and is beloved by many Jesuits and many Jesuit ministries. Welcome to Faith and Focus, British. Thanks, Father Jim. How are you today? I'm great. Good to see you, and uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, British, you left a, a promising career in banking to work with uh, the Jesuit Volunteer Corps. Can you tell us about your discernment and how that came to be? Sure. Um, well, it was an interesting, almost strange sort of process. Um, I was about three to four years into my banking career, and I just felt a pulling, a calling, a almost drawing to something, and I didn't know why. And I kept thinking, I don't think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. There's, I think there's something else to life. Um, and so I took some time off and, and had a, a bit of a sabbatical at the Eastern Shore of Maryland and decided that I really, that drawing and calling was drawing me something that I wouldn't fully realize for probably decades later. And that really was to, to be of service. Um, and as the Jesuits would say, to be on mission. And I entered the Jesuit Volunteer Corps um, and was a social worker for Catholic Charities in Mobile, Alabama. It changed my life. It was my big aha God moment. Um, and then I understood what I was being called to, and that was really to serve the, the people of God in that, in that setting, in that situation, um, learning all about affordable housing issues and welfare reform and health care reform and people living really in abject poverty in Mobile, Alabama. It really opened my eyes in, in, in such broad and deep ways that I think to this day still still serves me in my in my new career. Was there some uh, particular moment or Bible verse or something that stood out for you in terms of your discernment, in terms of that aha moment? In our house, we went to a, a sort of closing mass with my other eight community members, and there was a, a flyer that someone handed us as we were leaving, a sort of picture, good, goodbye card, um, and it was Jeremiah 29. Um, you know, the plans I have for you are to prosper. Um, and that really stuck in my mind that whatever I choose to do in service, um, that it was part of my journey, part of my life's work, if you will. Prospering means you can do other things. You don't have to just make money in banking. Um, and those other things came fully into focus, um, I think no pun intended, um, after my tenure, tenure at the Jesuit Conference, working on refugee issues and other social concern issues through the policy lens. Um, and then moving on from that, Jim, and going to the State Department, um, where I was really blessed to work um, on President Bush's HIV-AIDS global program called the President's Plan for uh, HIV and AIDS. And that just set up a dynamic where um, I could really see what it meant to be on mission and see that in a global setting with those suffering from HIV and AIDS. You know, you've had a really amazing career and have, you know, so many more years ahead of you. Uh, and a lot of it turned on that uh, discernment and the, the, the retreat and even that, that Bible verse. And I think a lot of people might, might ask, well, how do you know that that's God's voice, right? How do you know that the, those feelings of being drawn and, and the kind of insight you got from Jeremiah 29 are God's voice? What would you say to someone who says, you know, how can I discern if that's really coming from God or if it's just in my mind? Right. I, that's an excellent question. I think, Jim, there is an utter and complete peace that comes over you. So I talked about that pulling, that um, that kind of almost angst, that uncomfortableness, all of that goes away. Um, I believe when you are fully living out your purpose, your life's purpose, um, it's part of who you are, it's part of who I am, um, it, it sits at the core of my being. And there's a comfort that um, I feel every day knowing that, um, knowing that I've answered my call. Well, that's great. So it's not just the the kind of feeling um, sort of spiritually, it's also intellectually knowing uh, that you are fulfilling your talents. British, I want to thank you for sharing your faith life with us, and, and thanks for all your great service to, uh, to the Jesuits and the people of God. Thanks, Jim. Great to be with you. If you have a story uh, to share about how God has touched your life, send it to us at americamag.org slash faithshow. Thank you for watching Faith in Focus. You can find more videos like this on our YouTube channel and subscribe so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can have your story featured on the show, visit americamag.org slash faithshow.